Hello everyone. Today we have a new job. It's an uh, MSI gaming, as I assume. It's an MSI. Uh, which model is this? Model number MS sixteen R four. MS sixteen R four. Yeah. Uh, as for customer, he said that uh, his laptop is not charging. Does it have power to boot? There is no power in it. Yeah. So let me disconnect a little. It's like a Toshiba. Put my power supply to 19. Connecting charger. Mm. Actually, nothing happens. Taking 30 million and going down again. Turning on the laptop. The laptop turns on. Taking about two amps. We have a picture. What? Ah, okay. Did you see it? the laptop rebooted two times? That means it was loading the BIOS into the EC chip, which means the internal battery was totally drained. There's no power in it. And let us see if we have. The, if the battery is charging, does the battery charge? Yes or no? Mm. It doesn't seem so. But actually, if you can see, the power is rising. Two amps, three amps. Actually, uh, it's taking lots of power from my. my Power supply, it's not charging, that's what I know until now. Even though the, the, uh, the, uh, the charge control is trying to charge the battery. Let me open the unit. The unit is open. Yeah, as we can see. We have the battery. The board looks new, you know, just new. Oh, here we have the button for the power reset or battery reset. Okay. Trying to okay. putting the multimeter in voltage mode, testing the voltage on the battery. There's nothing. It's 287 millivolts. Uh, okay. So let me remove. Wait, let me see. Trying to charge, but it doesn't. It didn't. You see, that means the VQ chip is trying to uh, uh, inject power inside the battery, but the battery is not responding. Okay, how about I inject voltage 
on the battery from over here and uh, we'll see what will happen yeah so the battery I'm gonna remove the battery first see how many voltage does it need to get oh there's no screws okay there's no screws for the battery I think I can remove it just like this right I just want to know how many it's 11.4 volts so let me put my power supply to 12.5 approximately yes and uh, trying to charge the battery I hope it charges In the probes negative plus yeah the battery isn't taking any voltage you see something wrong with the battery no There is something wrong. Taking like nothing. Nothing at all. Well, <clears throat> the customer sent to the laptop another battery just to make sure that the battery is that uh, the problem is in the battery or in the laptop so he brought a new battery yeah this is it i don't think it's the same what is it same yeah somehow it's the same okay anyway let me see it does have any power bringing back my multimeter also doesn't have any power so if I inject voltage will it charge? let us see yeah, it is charging. It is charging. You see? It's taking one twenty one point two amps. Yeah, great. I think it uh if it's new it should uh, hold some chargers. How about now? Did it? No. Oh, okay. I didn't hold the charge. Why? Mm -hmm. Okay, let me check for shortage. That thing we didn't do at the first sight. Putting my multimeter into diode mode. Nothing, yeah, good. How about here? None. None. Well, I know that the laptop is, uh, the unit is, is turning on. But there's no issue to the board, you know? The issue is in the charging port in the charging area yeah it's holding 13 volts then it drops yeah 
the battery isn't responding. But wait a second. Here we have the BIOS battery. But when checking, even the BIOS battery doesn't have charge. Let me see if I have another battery to connect. One moment. Yeah. I have one over here. Is it the same connector? The BIOS battery is empty. I do have one of my own. Does it have some charge in it? Yeah. Okay. How about now? We try to insert. Let me insert the, the original uh, power. It's the same. I can use the light to see better. So it's the same. Okay, how about I inject voltage directly to the battery from this side? I think it will not harm anything. Mm -hmm. I can put this in the negative probe. How about trying to find? The best negative probe in order to make the test. So now this one is taking 200, saving 200 millivolts. How about now? I'm injecting, I'm, I am injecting 12 volts, 12.8 volts, but the, the battery is not taking any current. The battery is not responding at all. Okay, let me grab the other battery, the new battery that the customer provided. Okay, and uh, test it. It's not taking. The voltage it will charge. Oh, yeah, it is charging, but will it hold the charge? What do you think? 950, 400, okay, 11.5. You see, the battery is charging, but will it hold the charge? Cutting the power directly. Why? Inserting the charger. The battery is charging. Mm -hmm. So I don't think the problem is in the uh, laptop. Testing the battery if it is, if it's giving 12 volts. Yeah, it is giving 11.3. That means the battery is good. Let's see if it is charging. And it is, I don't know if you can see a white light. That means it is, the, the battery is charging. Great. Turning on the laptop. Uh, just a moment. Turning on the laptop, the laptop is on. It's loading the EC chip. That's normal. Yeah, great. But uh, is it charging the battery? That's what matters right now. I know the unit is on. Uh, it comes on. That's not an issue. Great. Okay, let us see the battery. If it is charging or not. Uh, 
as it seems it's charging yeah 11 percent blocked in let me wait for a moment if it comes to 12 percent oh okay okay the bq chip is or the uh, easy chip is is seeing the battery and uh, reading the battery right so uh, the battery gives a two hours six minutes until fully charged that means it's very good the battery is working fine our charge controller is working fine so the main issue is in the uh, original old old battery <coughs> ah yeah that's right that's good so the battery is charging so uh, I told you before that I maybe know the cause of this issue uh, as you as I will show you right now the bios battery voltage is equal to zero uh, so sometimes if the bat bias battery is empty it will lead to get some uh, the bias will be corrupted or the EC chip programming corrupted uh, that's why the EC chip wasn't uh, charging this new battery from the first time the old battery the original battery is is defective that's uh, that's that's for sure but uh, since the customer tried to install the new battery and it didn't charge that was caused by the EC chip not reading or not uh, identifying the new battery by uh, putting a new BIOS battery uh, the EC chip was programmed in a good way and it uh, so the or uh, it uh, read the new battery good and began to charge it so uh, yeah i think the battery holded with some some kind of power inside i'm trying to turn it on without the charger here we have the charger uh, it is turning on let me insert the power i don't want to i don't want the battery to be discharged let me see the percentage how much 21 percent great that means the battery is charging and it is good and even our charge controller is good so i can consider it as a fix uh that's it like and subscribe if you like the video thank you for your support and i will see you another job bye